T. Clark here, and this video is on the AP Computer Science A 2022 FRQ number 1B. So on the 1B, we're still in the game uh, class, and we're going to make a play many times method. So we're going to simulate the play of a certain number of games. So we're going to use that parameter num. So num is a parameter we're going to use, and we're going to play that many games and return the highest game score played. So it looks like it looks like we're going to uh, do the maximum uh, maximum algorithm. So we have an example, four games, and we're gonna play many times four. We're gonna have um, those random numbers and then it returns the maximum 90. Okay, so play of the game is simulated by calling play. Okay, so we start with play. And then if it's, it's called only one time, that means we can call get score. So the consecutive calls to get score, get score, get score, will return the score earned in that first simulated play. So we're not going to say get score, get score, get score, and then get, get 75, 50, play, 90. No, we'll have to say play, and then we'll get score 75, get score 75, get score 75. And only if we say play again, will we get that 50, then play again 90, get score 90, get score 90, and then play again the fourth time in this case, we'll get that get score to be 20. So it looks like that'll be good. So we want to make that method. We're going to assume that get score works. So again, get score was part of A. And even if you leave it blank, hopefully not, hope you put at least put at least something. But if you did, or if you messed it up, we're going to assume it works. So we have to use get score. We have to use play. It says you must call play and get score um, to receive full credit. So we're not going to re recode get score. We're just going to call it in part B. So first things first, I know I have an int to return. The type is an int. So I'm going to say, OK, int result. And this is, um, like I said, the maximum. And again, the minimum, the smallest possible number is that zero. So if I look at my original um, uh, game, no, my level code, yeah, way back here, get points, it'll always be a positive integer. So, and then in my game, the minimum number of points is zero. So if you didn't get any points, no, earn, no points earned, it'll always be zero. So it'll never be negative. So my smallest possible is zero. So that's what I'm gonna set it up as. You could have probably set it up as what? Um, is it integer class dot min um, value or something like that? It's on your it's on your um, reference sheet, so you could have set it up as the minimum, smallest possible. But either way, so I started out at the smallest one. I'm going to loop through my number of games. So I start with a zero, i less than num, i plus plus. So I'm going to loop four times. Um, num would be four. So whatever my parameter is, my, whatever my parameter is, that's what goes in my loop as my maximum. So uh, it will technically be zero, one, two, three, but I only need four iterations. Okay, so play the game is simulated by calling the helper method play. So first thing I do when I play a game is I play that game, done. So that's the first part. And then I wanna get score and I'll say, okay, is the get score, so my this now I'm doing the if statement for the maximum if the current get score, the current play through, I guess, is bigger than whatever my current maximum is, then my new maximum should be that new score. And again, because it says consecutive calls to get score will return that score, it'll be the same. I can say get score, get score, however many times I have, and it only changes when I do a new play the next iteration through. And I think that's it. Let me triple check. Oh yeah, duh. I have to return my result. And that should be it now. So should be that 90. Yeah, so that's it. So just a minimum or a maximum, uh, a maximum algorithm with some, some caveats in there with a play call.